going to show you how to use that wasted space on your deck and create a corner bench for just under $20. In my demo, I'm using a, a lot of scrap wood that I have just sitting around my garage. I like to try and make use of all, all that I have so that there is very little waste. But what you need to start out with are nine 2 by 3 by 8 pieces of lumber. This can be found at your local hardware store. But if you are using scrap wood, uh, it's simply attached via pocket screws and wood glue. And one thing to consider when using scrap wood is you will have to tie it in with more support beams under, this, under the seat once you're putting assembling the structure of the bench. The top of the bench consists of eight pieces of two by eight cut down to one 60 inch, one 66 inch, one 62, 72 inch, one 78 inches, one 84 inches, and one 90 inches, and two full length two by three by eight pieces of lumber. A complete cut list can be found on my blog at toolboxdivas.com. Once the 2x3s are cut, it's time to assemble the bench. You're going to be laying out the 2x3s in order from smallest to largest with a 3 inch hangover on either side of each bench. So starting with the 60 inch piece all the way down to the 96 inch piece, you're going to go down, each, side, each is going to hang out 3 inches on either side. Then you're going to place your support beams on the ends and within the middle of the bench. Using a spacer, which I made just using some scrap wood of about a quarter of an inch, I used it to separate the two by threes. This allowed for an equal distance between each two by three. In this case, you don't actually have to use a drill. You can use an old-fashioned hammer in this situation. And quite frankly, using a hammer lets out a lot of aggression and tension, and it can be very therapeutic. So I recommend using a hammer for this project. But be sure to use exterior screws and exterior nails. In this case, you're going to be using two by two and a half inch screws, exterior screws, and two and a half inch exterior nails. Once the support beams are in place or under the bench, it's time to construct the legs of the bench. This is a very simple process. You're just putting together uh, the three pieces of two by three to construct a very simple straight cut leg. Then using pocket screws attach under the seat next to each support beam the legs. The middle leg should be placed in the middle about 27 inches from the, from the side legs. And just a little side note, working on the ground is not very good for your knees. I recommend knee pads or using a pillow like I did. <laughs> Okay. 
keep in mind that this project is supposed to be fairly simple. Uh, all the cuts are straight uh, cuts and actually can be made, uh, completed at your local hardware store. Or it can be done with a, with a simple handsaw. But again, the cuts can be done at your local hardware store for this project. Once the legs are attached, cap off the front of the seat by placing the second 2x3x96 flat face up against the other 2x3x96 board. Flat, finally flip over the bench because you are done. Simply sand to smooth out any splinters and imperfections in the wood and stain using your favorite color. I recommend a beer exterior stain because a regular stain in Thompson water seal does not work the same. So how you like my chair? Like this. How you like it? I like it. You do you have a fanny pack on? What? Maybe I do. Oh.